Welcome to part three of uh, making cast nets. Um, in part one, we covered materials, components, cleaning, and storage. Part two, making the net, which is your webbing, which is the body of the net. Part 2A, we talked about the distortion that you might experience uh, as you transition from uh, one panel in the net to the next panel uh, at the, uh, the uh, wideners. Um, part 2B uh, was repairs that you may have to make in case you, you skip a mesh or if you accidentally forget to uh, install a widener as needed. Part 3, we're going to install uh, the thimble and we're going to go on to how we're going to add the lead line. You know, we're going to tie the lead line in. Okay, here we've got the starting of our net right here. What we want to do, it, one thing that you can do is you can keep this twine right here and you can leave this twine on here and you can actually use that uh, to install your thimble. Now, whether you're watching this video to install your thimble on a brand new net that you've just made or possibly installing it on a net that uh, you decided you don't like the way that the top of the net is set up. Uh, it works both ways. All you have to do is take the top part of a, an older net, take it apart, and uh, do what we're about to do here in installing this thimble. Now, one of the things you want to make sure that you do if you're installing a thimble uh, instead of the, the, the some of the more modern methods, most of those methods are used because Manufacturing is faster and it's cheaper. Okay, so by doing any modifications to your current net uh, is going to improve your net and it doesn't have much to do with what it costs you or what how long it takes you to make the repair or make the modification. These are the swivels that I use in, in cast nets and these are the thimbles that I use in cast nets. These are brass thimbles. This is a 5 8 a three quarters, and this is a nylon three quarter. Uh, most commonly on my nets, they're, they're, most of my nets are four foot, four and a half, five, six foot nets. Uh, I, I do have a few three foot nets that I use because I like to use those for harvesting uh, small perch and uh, catfish out of uh, ditches when they drain the rice fields around my local area. We can go over there and we can uh, use a cast net and throw them uh, perch and catfish in a bucket bring them back to the property here and put them in our uh, pond and uh, make sure our pond is stocked with uh, proper uh, the proper fish that I want in there instead of a bird showing up with eggs on its feet and then any kind of uh, fish that wants to grow in my pond or uh, start living in my pond. I, I don't really like that, that idea. But uh, looking at the swivels one more time, this is a size six swivel. Not sure how well you can see it. It's made out of 304 stainless. All of them are the same. This is a six. I normally use it on my larger nets. Uh, this is a five millimeter. Uh, in this net, which is a three foot net, I'm gonna uh, use a four foot. This one's for, I mean, I'm sorry, four millimeter. This one uh, I'm making for my wife uh, so that she can learn and, and become really efficient, uh, proficient with a uh, cast net. Uh, but on this net, I'm gonna use a five eighths thimble with a four millimeter swivel. And uh, we can go on now and show you how to start out. Now, if initially when you made your cast, your webbing, if you made this fairly long where you could put a knot in it here and uh, shorten it up or lengthen it, however you need to do it on your anchor while you're actually tying your webbing. Uh, if you made it long, then this will work out pretty good because all you have to do is pretty much just cut it at your knot and put this on a needle. And what you're gonna do is you're simply gonna go all the way through. You're just gonna take this like so, and you need to pick up we're coming from here. So what you want to do, you want to make two rounds. You've already got one round in there. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start making another round through here. 
and, and just go around two times. I'll come right back as soon as I get all these this taken care of. Okay, I've uh, gone two rounds around this, this uh, top of the cast net. And so essentially, as we pull this up, we're gonna create a cinch sack, sim similar to a cinch sack. So what I'm gonna do, you know, this, this can be a little frustrating uh, to get this. Uh, one of the things you wanna do is try to get as equal of mesh hanging around the thimble as you can. So we're gonna install this. We're gonna start pulling this up like a cinch sack. Okay, once we pull that up, that's why we've made two rounds. So we can hold it in this fashion and we can pull these down to get all that slack out of there. And we can also even them up, which you notice that uh, it's not evened right now. But I'm gonna pull them all down to make sure I've got the proper pressure on each one of these so that they're not, uh, they're not doing their job what we want is we want them to do their job as best as we can get them to do uh, equally across the thimble. We don't want to have them all bunched up. Uh, one of the things you can do is loosen and tighten the how tight you're holding the tension on this and uh, kind of move these around like so. This is a smaller thimble. When you're using the three-quarter inch thimble, uh, it makes it uh, a little easier to mess with. In some cases, I would I would venture to guess. Uh, I've done quite a few of these, so the thing about it is, is is we want to get this thimble pretty squared away on here to where everything's fairly even, okay? Now, we don't really need to tie this off. It doesn't really need to be tied off. Uh, in this case, because I'm using such a heavy twine uh, for my uh, uh, initial process here uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to cut some of this off because I'm not going to keep going with this I'm going to use this size 18 and uh, uh, it's bonded this this stuff originally that I used on here was not bonded on this part right here just to start my net and run my net so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this around I'm going to get this a little more equal all the way around. So now this is where we're at. We've got it fairly equal all the way around. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push this up to the top and I'm gonna hold it like so. I'm gonna take some more twine, which is my number 18 bonded, and I'm gonna make sure all this is pulled down nice and even. I'm gonna lay this on here like so. And I'm going to begin to wrap this around here, pinning this down so that it doesn't slip. Well, there you go. I don't really want it to slip. I want it to hold pretty good. So I'm going to wrap this, pull this down, make sure it stays down. I'm going to wrap this around. Kind of tough doing this on camera and everything trying to <laughs> trying to get everything just right okay now that i have this started and i've got this pinned down pretty well right here i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this i'm gonna cut this out of the way i'm gonna get it get it out of the way don't cut your net when you're doing this that's a that's a bad thing to do okay so we're gonna get this in here nice and tight Okay, we're gonna make sure this leg right here, we're gonna take and we're gonna wrap over that leg to make sure that leg does not slip loose. Just wrap it around. Okay, now that I've got that pinned down real well, I'm gonna take a small piece of twine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of that. I'm gonna cut a different one, hold on. Got a little piece of green right here, this will work perfectly. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make me a loop like this, like so. I'm gonna lay this across here like that so that as soon as I wrap around three or four times, I can come in here, I can pull this down and pull it through itself so that it pins itself down. 
So I'm going to wrap it. I'm not going to wrap too much. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go too far up to where this the the twine here could actually slip over this edge. So I'm only going to make a few more rounds here. Pull it real tight because I want it to pin itself down. Okay. Now all I got to do is come over here. Doesn't matter how long I make this extra piece, I can cut it right here. Come back here, pin this down, push it through the loop, like so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull on this, and we're gonna actually pull this tight. Okay, so it's not gonna go anywhere now. Okay, so we're gonna take this, and we're gonna pull this, and we're gonna pull it through, just like that. Okay, pull that snug. Okay, everything should be in place. We're going to come in here. This was the original leg. Okay, so we're going to cut this off, which was uh, the last wrap. We're going to cut this off. Okay, come in here and cut that leg off there where we originally pinned it down. Now, so your thimble's installed here. Now you have, whenever you get ready to add your, your braille lines and your, your uh, swivel, you have an option. You can leave this out exposed, if you will. You can leave it out. Or you can actually reverse the entire net by pushing it through, just like a, like a sock or a pillowcase or whatever. Just push it through and then bring it through on the other side. So when you do your, your braille lines in here, you'll actually push your braille lines through this way and then you'll tie it to your lead line. And that way you have a real clean appearance at the top of your net. Okay, as you can see, we've got it wrapped underneath, but right here we've got this, this done there. Just remember when, it, when you order your thimble and order your, your swivel so that it doesn't go through, this is a 5 8 and this is a 4 millimeter. This is a small net. There's nothing wrong with you using that, that thimble even out to uh, a 6 foot net if you're using something about the size of an 18 twine on your braille lines uh it it works out just great uh but nonetheless if you want a little more weight at the top of the top and center of the net you can use this the three quarter inch uh, use a a number six or a six millimeter five millimeter or four millimeter if you're going this low now be cautioned that if you get a four millimeter and you want to use a three quarters, it won't go through on the brass, okay? But it will go through on the nylon. And like I say, you don't need those frustrations when you're out there trying to use your cast net because if this goes inside here and hangs up inside your net on the inside when you throw it, you're gonna pull back a net that didn't make a purse. It's just gonna be a net hanging uh, from the thimble to the lead line with no, no draw to, to help it purse up those those fish, the bait that you're trying to catch. So the five millimeter works okay with the nylon and the six millimeter works great. Uh, they're, they're perfect. Okay, so we've installed this and uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the lead line.